Alright, so, um, uh, hey guys, my name is Cougar Draven, and, uh, I'm gonna try something different this time. He's gonna not fail! <laughs> ah, you're funny, you're That's funny. You're funny. Let's, uh, unpause this. There we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, Radical Rescue, for the Game Boy. I actually own this, it's a fun, fun game. Probably turn the volume up a little bit. Yes, okay. While three of the turtles relax in their sewer retreat, a special bulletin from April O'Neil interrupts their favorite TV show. I'm here at the scene of an incredible prison break! It seems that the criminal responsible is... something. Hmm, the broadcast is cut off. Yikes, we gotta go save April. The turtles spring into action, despite the fact that this is a still image, and head for the fortress. Meanwhile, Michelangelo is returning from the pizza joint and notices the place is deserted. I'm... okay. Hey, where'd everybody go? Yeah, 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 okay. Bizarre laughter crackles out of the television. Your friends are mine now, little turtle. If you dare to rescue them, come to the abandoned mine at the edge of the city. Why is there an abandoned mine at the edge of every city? Why is that a, 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 a staple? You play Minecraft. Fair point. Alright. Let's do this. Uh, jumping and Michelangelo does... Does, uh... That. In addition, each turtle, because there are four turtles, even though three of them are trapped right now, each turtle has a special attack. You want, they're gonna escape? Oh, I'm not gonna play the game now. Michelangelo, oh, well that was stupid. Michelangelo can use his nunchucks to uh, travel like a helicopter. Duh. Which, you know, I mean... Like, like so. Also, when they're on the ladders, all the turtles can throw, uh, ninja stars. I can't remember what those things are called. Shurikens, thank you. <laughs> uh, other things is, this is pizza. It says so, right there. It's, it's a pizza, it says the word pizza over the sprite. It's actually part of the goddamn sprite. I'm sorry, that's gonna bother me. Pick it up and it has a spot on your hot bar. I don't know. But anyway, um, you exit the room it's in and you come back. Yes. The pizza will come back, yeah. And it's right there and you pick it up and it fills your health bar again. There's one other kind here. Is that it? Yeah, then there's a slice of pizza, which again says pizza over it. And when you pick it up, it fills your health bar all the way to full. The uh, the pizza on your hot on that's in your hot bar will stay there, and it will. Um, oh well, that was smart. You're telling me if I eat pizza, my diabetes will go away. Yes. Somehow I think you're lying. Somehow I think the game is lying to you. According to this game, man. <laughs> but anyway, um. This game has some really awesome music. Yeah, it's okay. And okay, the pizza on the hot bar, when you run out of life, it, it acts like a kinda like a Phoenix down, I guess. Uh, at least I'm assuming it does, because I mean that's just the only Phoenix down will bring you up if you have a teammate on auto Yeah, whatever whatever it is, I don't know. I Auto life, I guess. Yeah, well, sure. Fairy, yeah, it's like a fairy. It's like a fairy that uh, fills all your health to the brim. Yeah. Instead of uh, six hearts. Uh, the pizza will fill your health to full no matter where it is. And it's in the same place every time. There's a pizza right there, but I'm not going to need it because before I because I, you know, already have one in my health box. 
Yeah, and for some reason, I'm guessing these are the robot foot soldiers because they explode when you hit them. It's, you know, just a theory I have. And there we go. And I'm already at the first boss because that's how short this game really is. Let's hope I can do this without dying. I just did it in a test play about an hour ago, so... God damn it. God damn it! I'm gonna get this motherfucker. I'm going to. God damn it! Alright, alright, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I use the pizza. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Eat a dick. Got a key! And it refilled my health. And now I move on. Uh, no. That actually comes in about a minute. Um... No, you actually do not get uh, health bonuses for beating the boss. Um, instead, you get keys to unlock a door. So I'm gonna go open this. I'm gonna go this way. I actually have a copy of this uh, audio track on my uh, laptop. The this is um the first part of the fortress, which I guess is the uh, it's kind of like not a cave. It's it's kind of like a basement. It looks it's got a basement kind of feel to it, like um you know grout and cracked walls and shit. I uh, you know I I guess a sewer is possible, but there's never any water. There is no water in this entire game. All right, and uh, we go up here and kill a lot of fucking bats, and there's a flame, and as it says, use the key. There's a giant door with a, it's a giant door with a picture of a key on it. And hey, look who's behind the door, it's Leonardo. And a password, which I will not be using because that would require remembering a password. Which, I mean, I probably could, because... Yeah, I'm not going to use it, because it would require remembering it. However, Leonardo's special ability, since we're here, is you press down and B, or A, I'm sorry, down and A, and he drills. Yeah, and there's the heart piece I was talking about earlier. I now have eight health pieces. Yeah, that was a... Yeah, so that was, um, that's that, and, uh... Now I move on to find Raphael, because I have more of the world open to me now. Yes, I just saved I just saved James Arnold Taylor, now I'm going to save Nolan North. That is correct. Now now, now now. Be polite. Okay, hang yourself please. No, no, not everybody has seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. In which case. Case Go do that now. Oh, Go do it now. No, no, no. no. You be able to figure out exactly what we're talking Always. About. And if you can't, learn about it. Always learn. Learn something. Learn something every day. In this case, Nolan North is one of the best voice actors of our generation. That is your lesson of the day. James Arnold Taylor is pretty cool. Yeah, James Arnold Taylor is pretty awesome. I mean, come on. Ratchet, Leonardo, Oliver Queen. That's pretty badass. Obi-Wan Kenobi? Oh, okay, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan fucking Obi worst. Obi-Wan fucking worst Jedi ever, Kenobi. You're right. We're going to continue this argument after on off recording. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.